You guys have been loving my AliExpress hardware series because let's face it, in the current market, prices have been coming down a lot on most hardware. And on AliExpress, you can find stuff for a lot cheaper. A lot of the things you see on Amazon, people just buy them from over there and then resell it on Amazon. So if you go directly to the source, you're gonna pay a bit less. Also with coupons and like discounts and just basically like AliExpress is trying to get customers, they're basically giving you some extra discounts to get you guys to stay. But of course, here at the Motor PSUs, we're not gonna fall for it. We're gonna buy as long as the price is low. And if the price goes up, we're gonna just move on to the next platform. So with that said, today I am reviewing what I believe to be the absolute best value, DDR5 RAM kit if you have an AM5 platform. If you have an Intel platform, you want higher speed, so this kit is not good for it, even though it is XMP compatible and you can run it plenty fine on Intel. This is great for AMD. Now, this is from KingBank. This RAM kit doesn't even have an official name. I've been trying to look for it everywhere. I can't find it, but the specs, the specs speak for themselves. So this is a kit which comes in at 180 bucks official price, but with all the discounts and stuff, and you should always only buy during a discount, you can bring it home for around 160 bucks, which if you look on Amazon, you will find a standard kit of 32 gigabytes DDR5 RAM, 6,000 megahertz at around 100 bucks. So this one is 50% more RAM going from 32 to 48. It is a two by 24 gigabyte kit. So we're paying around 60% more for 50% more RAM. It already makes sense. However, the thing is, this kit is white RGB, which makes it very cool. The design is great. We will cover it in a second. But the thing is, it is CL. 28. And now, as you guys know, there's very few people in the world making RAM. All these different companies are just repackaging RAM modules. And these RAM modules are from SK Hynix. We see it if we go in CPU-Z and we look at the SPD of our RAM. We see Hynix right there. So this is a 2 by 24 gigabytes CL28 6000 megahertz of SK Hynix RAM, which you can buy for 160 bucks on paper by itself makes it a good buy, which is why I bought it. So here we are with the testing. Now, unboxing. Unboxing is very simple. The packaging doesn't even have the name on it. However, they have some peel off on top of the RGB to do, which is kind of cool. Then we go ahead and mount it. I picked a full white motherboard from Gigabyte. It's a mid-range B850 motherboard with a Ryzen 7 9800X 3D because this is where you get the most gains. You can get up to 20% more performance by simply enabling the XMP and tweaking your RAM compared to stock. Aesthetic check and installation check, it's fine. I mean, it's RAM, you just plug it in, it works. The RGB is nice, you can control it via any motherboard software, this time with Gigabyte software, but Azure Semisite is gonna work on every single motherboard out there, no problem, the RGB is standard. But what about performance? How is the XMP profile, sorry, EXPO, and how are secondary and tertiary timings? Does this even work out of the box? Well, short answer, because we're at multi PSUs, I don't wanna waste your time. As I show you the BIOS settings and all the SPD tertiary timings, if you want to copy them, is this kit is great. This is on par with Corsair memory, with name brand stuff. This is the exact same. It is just repackaged with a cooler looking design and it is from an unknown brand. KingBank has actually been around for a while. We've had them on the channel a lot, so it is actually a known brand. It is just not a brand which is in the Western market, which since now we can buy it for cheap, makes it pretty good. I enabled the XMP on this random P50 motherboard from Gigabyte with a standard Ryzen 7 9900X 3D, and it worked out of the box. We passed six hours of Prime 95 large FFT, which means it is fully stable. Now, how does this RAM perform in overclocking? Well, if you guys saw my M5 RAM tuning tutorial, these settings apply perfectly, my Hynix settings, because if you saw the video, basically I separate how you overclock RAM in Hynix and Samsung. They work perfectly fine for this Hynix RAM, and you can actually tighten the timings a bit more. Now, which frequency should you get if you're going to get a 1900X 3D or a 9700X? Well, if you're not gonna overclock, 6000 megahertz is gonna be the absolute best. So what we've got here today, if you are overclocking, there is some space for 6400 megahertz too, but with this kit, I was able to raise it to 6400 megahertz by keeping the CL28 intact 
So, so this is also good if you want to do some CPU overclocking and raise the FCLK. This may seem complicated, but it's actually just three settings. You just have to get a little bit into RAM tuning yourself. So with that said, this RAM is fully recommended. I think if you're buying stuff for your build from AliExpress, go ahead and add this RAM to your cart. It's great. I will leave the link to it down below. Fully, fully recommended. You will see it on the channel quite a bit, as long as the price remains this low. And as usual, I want to hear what you guys think. Did you buy a KingBank product before? Did you have a good experience or a bad experience? In any case, leave a comment down below so other people can get validation from you and double check my results. And with that said, see you guys in another video. Bye bye.